I just want to touch on the subject of Palpung painting style and Situ Panchen Chuki Jungne. Now, yes, we talk about Palpung in with reference to Karma Gadri, but Karma Gadri is a painting tradition, it's not actually a style. Uh, Palpung painting is is a style of of art that was developed in the 18th century when Pulp, after Palpung Monastery was built. Palpung was built on, a, on an existing, the foundations of an existing monastery. I believe it was possibly Drikung originally. And, and Palpung was actually um, the, the main monastery center for uh, Situ Panchen, which previously was Karma Gun, uh, which was more in the Chamdo area, whereas Palpung is in the Dege area of, uh, of um, eastern Tibet, modern day uh, western Sichuan province of China. Now, the topic here really is about uh, Situ Panchen uh, and painting sets that are attributed to him. Now, yes, we can say that the overall Pulpung uh, painting style was really developed by Situ Panchen, and he talks about it a lot in his uh, autobiography. And we do have uh, a number of painting sets that he commissioned or designed uh, that are mentioned in his writings. But then we have a lot of painting sets which are not mentioned at all by him or in any of his writings. So we have to assume that they are most likely not commissioned by him, they're not designed by him, they're designed by all kinds of other artists in the region who are now following this Pulpung uh, painting style, which is very distinct, um, uh, quite good. It's one of the best of the, of the later types of uh, painting styles of Tibet. When I say later, I mean, I mean really um, 17th, 18th, 19th century styles. So as for the the sets uh, that we know Situ Panchen was uh, related to either because he painted them or was designing them or he commissioned them. So what we have is we have the eight Mahasiddha set, we have uh, the hundred previous lives of the Buddha, uh, Jataka stories, we have uh, um, an eight bodhisattva set that he requested to be traced from a 16th century original set uh, from an earlier teacher. We have the Avadana uh, set of paintings designed in 1733 by, by Situ Panchen. We have the 27 tantric deities commissioned in 1750, Padmasambhava and the Eight Manifestations, commissioned in 1769 and 1770. So we have very few that are actually designed by Situ Panchen. We don't really have any that are painted by him. Uh, and we have a short list of things that he designed and commissioned. Now, for things that he did not, are not mentioned anywhere in the writings as being uh, commissioned or designed by him are the 84 Mahasiddha set, Shakyamuni Buddha and the 16 Arhat set, the, the Kings of Shambhala set, which uh, we have uh, many, many copies of actually, um, mostly in situ, in, in, in Tibet. Uh, the Thai Situpa incarnation lineage set, the Masters of Kadam set, Shakyamuni Buddha life story, and we have three different versions for this. We have, we have what appears to be a three painting set, a five painting set, and then a set of unknown number where we only have the, the, the first painting of, uh, from a set for the life story. So we have no idea how many other paintings are in that set. Then we have a Milarepa life story set that is very much in the Palpung style, uh, but no idea as to um, uh, when it was designed. Uh, and then we have a Karmakagyu lineage set, the um, Golden Garland Mahamudra lineage painting set. Uh, so all of these last ones I've mentioned, which, which are really quite famous, um, are not mentioned as being associated or linked to C2 textually or otherwise. So this is just a little, um, just a little clarification about how we have to separate Palpung style from what are C2 punch and commissions. That's the whole point of this video. Now, don't forget, press the like button. You can also subscribe. And if you want to help support the work we do, then you can join HAR on Patreon.